Welcome to my new video. In this video I want to show you a small trick that I just found out uh, with BuildBox 3. By the way, BuildBox now uh, is uh, free to use, okay? So this is their main web page and this is a no-code mobile game development and they say for free but of course this is a limited uh, version when you get it but still you can make games by the way. Uh, and this is actually a my game. It's called Knight Rider, available on the App Store. It's a nice cyberpunk racer game. It, it also won a third place in the BuildBug Cyberpunk Game Jam. So they are using this in their homepage, which I really, really love this look. And generally with all these in MacBook and uh, mobile phone, the game inside, I think it's, it looks wonderful. Uh, so this is BuildBug, and if you go to pricing, here you go, you can get your build packs for free and start making games and you can even publish on the App Store, okay? And you can earn revenue, yes, but no good integration, but as far as I know, they get 10% of AdMob, but still, you know, just, uh, you know, contact and ask them. And I don't want to say something, how can I say? What are the payment methods? Okay, I just want to find out if to validate that but no anyway let's go back to business so uh, I love how they did Rayman like this is all created in 2d it's a 2d piece of art and I love all these characters and everything and they as far as I know in one video I watched all these worlds are created in a 3d environment they have like nice depth and everything this is like 2d 3d world but this character is 2d so we can make the same in build box so how to do, let's open this build box and I love how build box works because it's very very fast, it opens up fast and it builds up fast, you, it exports fast, you know, and it's very very superior I think. Of course it's like a very new engine but it, I think it's great. So create new, so I'm going to create a new 2D game by creating this, clicking this, sorry. And I'm going to click here and double click this one. So this is my empty world, nothing in here. I'm going to import some uh, small 2D objects which I can play around. So I'm going to go to my world again. I'm going to replace this rectangle right here. So as you can see, it has its own like uh, control points here, so which I can like scale around. And I'm going to drag and drop the circle under the character, so it's a playable character. And I'm going to drop this here, okay? So I'm going to make this rectangle, set it physics on with the static, so it doesn't fall down. And if I click circle, I'm going to make it dynamic. And I'm going to click play, and now boom. Okay, we have a player falling on a, how can I say, rectangle, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click this add brain box. And I will say platformer add brain box. Okay. Now, as you can see, it created a character under it. And I can get rid of this. I'm going to do this later on in my 3D world. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So it has a run animation, which is looped. And you'll see this is perfect. Idle, looped. Okay. And jump. And this is not looped, of course. Okay, so I have all these three animations, and but this is a 2D world, guys. Okay, what I do is I'm going to right-click this circle, okay, my character. I'm going to name this to player, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to say export asset, okay. And I'm going to go to my desktop and uh, player, all right, and close this down, or cancel, just say new, when you say new, it uh, shuts down the open, I say no, I'm not going to save it, so let's wait for it to open, no, it won't because it crashed, okay, we have a crashing bitbox tree, there we go, Sorry guys for your waiting for your waiting and cancel. So now I'm going to say again create new and 3D game. 
And now we have an empty 3D game. I'm gonna get rid of this cube right now. And this is ground. And now what I will do is, this is my exported asset. I'm gonna drag and drop this right here. Okay, so this is right under the player, but this is not in my scene yet. I'm gonna drag and drop this again here, take it up. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get rid of this circle so we only see this character here, okay? And let's see, okay. Collision shape cube, let's make it sphere, you know? You can say shape always visible and see your collision shape, okay? Just for your information, guys. F-A-Y, F-A-I, all right. So now when I click play, and now I have a playable character, you see? Here we go. Now, what I can do is I can... Any objects here? Yeah, okay, I can get rid of this ground thing. So you can you need to say no ground for this. And I'm gonna drag and drop this cube here. Okay. Uh, let's get it up. So I have my platform. And I'm going to... How can I say? Here we go. Now this is cool because uh, a 2D character can interact with a 3D object. Okay, this is very, very cool. So I'm going to duplicate this by hitting Command D. Okay. And if I say my camera, position follow character, and here we go. No, oh my god, my character is not working. Why? Why is he not walking? I mean, let's set a cube, maybe that's why. Okay, no idea. It has got to be the, the default created cube in build box. Okay, sometimes it happens like this, so I'm gonna get rid of this. All right. And let me put it down here. Here we go. And let's make this to static. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I mean, with build bugs, it's better you get rid of all the default things that can come with you, that come with the software. And sorry for my English, guys. It's just my thing. And here we go. So I'm going to duplicate this. Here we go. And now when I press play, now we have a character. Okay. Now you can have him interact with some 3D objects. I mean, you can create your own art if, I mean, like this, or, you know, in your own style, of course. I mean, this is like too much, it's a studio work. But this is really, really cool. I love how you can still make like a 2D, 2D style game using a 3D world like this. Okay, hope you like this video, guys. And hope you like this small trick that I showed you. And please enjoy making games and happy gaming, guys. Bye.